Four out of five of the suspects were charged with kidnapping, and at the federal level, kidnapping is punishable by life sentence or the death penalty. This morning, five extended family members who were arrested at a New Mexico compound where a three-year-old boy was found dead last year pleaded not guilty to new federal charges. Investigators say Jani Laville, Siraj Ibn Wahaj, Hudra Wahaj, Subhana Wahaj, and Lucas Morton all lived at this compound and say they plan to kill officers and other government employees. Cameras weren't allowed in the federal building, but this is video of the suspects from one of their earlier hearings in Taos. Four of five in the group are now charged with kidnapping, a count that is punishable by a life sentence or the death penalty at the federal level. The client's attorneys were outraged. It's very clear. The government wants to kill our clients. KOAT legal expert John Day says federal prosecutors will first have to prove they're guilty of kidnapping the little boy. The prosecutors would have to show that the actual death occurred generally um, right about the same time as the kidnapping, so that the crime was sort of consistent throughout. Even Wahaj, the father of the three-year-old boy who was reported missing and died at the compound, is the only one who is not charged with kidnapping. The irony here is that the government is seeking death penalty offenses for the aunts, uncles, and step-parents of a deceased child. The defense attorneys say Ibn Wahaj will not be charged with kidnapping because federal law says it's not against the law for a parent to kidnap their own child.